Hey, this is Prof Twining from Eastern Nazarene College. And this crazy bunch of misfits is my intro to ecology class. We're heading out to see a vernal pool here in the Blue Hills Reservation today. I'm sure there's all kinds of crazy things going on behind me right now. So we had quite a cold March. Today's March uh, 28th. You can still see snow on the ground out here, so I don't know what we're gonna find in the vernal pool today, but we're gonna give it a shot, see what happens. Oh, it's just oh yeah. Astute. So here we have a spotted salamander. Thanks, Cindy, good job. Um, and Cindy just demonstrated this time of year where you might find these type of salamanders, okay? This is a, uh, you know, rotting log. She just rolled the log back. And of course you have to be very, very careful when you do that. You don't want to squish the salamander. And in fact, when we put the salamander back, we put it down next to the log and let it find its own way back under there. We don't roll the log back on top of it. <laughs> Ambistoma maculatum, the spotted salamander, not the yellow spotted salamander. And you can see there's two rows of yellow spots going down the back. And believe it or not, that spot pattern is unique. Every spotted salamander will have a different spot pattern. If you look back here, you see the bulge between his legs right there? Okay, uh -huh. those are, that's his cloaca. Um, he is prepared to mate. Okay, you can see the bulges there. He's probably, on his way to that vernal pool down there okay well, another thing I want to point out is along the side of the salamander you see there's a bunch of grooves okay and those are called costal grooves c-o-s-t-a-l and salamanders have a unique number of costal grooves that help us identify which species they are. Now, not all salamanders will have those costal grooves. Um, I'm sure you guys would like to, or some of you would like to hold them. So if you would just put your hand out flat like Cindy has, and we can just kind of pass them around, but don't squeeze them. Just take a look. Well, this is the end of our first outdoor adventure for a spring ecology lab at Eastern Nazarene College. I'm Professor John Twining. I'll see you next time on Vernal Pool Chronicles.